Hey guys, what's up? It's Hydroponic Caravan here. And we've got some more Kachao Shima Kasaku. And the last episode, we left off at an incredibly dramatic point where a hero protagonist just got jumped by a corporate ninja. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Nope. He wakes up to meet Bowl Cut Man. King of Bull Cuts, the Lieutenant of Mullet King. He's being he's being interrogated by Bull Cut King. Turns out he's being held by the Hair Cults. He's approached by Suspicious Mustache King. And He's like, is that dirty Sanchez on your lip? And the... 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 Uh, mustache King isn't amused. He really isn't. Um, suspicious Mustache King is not amused at all. In fact, he's... He's very insulted by it, and the Ball Cut King jumps in. And they're just... They're hella pissed off. And the hero wants to know why he's being held by these... by this hair cult. I won't tell him. He'll have to find out on his own. It's usually numbing noises you hear in the background. I'm eating more candy. Because sugar highs are wonderful. Um, so... He mentions the old squareception conversation topic. And the Mustache King does. We're not happy that he doesn't want to talk about it. What? He just walked off and then reappeared. And said something about VIPs. Turns out, oh, whoa, that is not appropriate, kids. That's twice as bad as triple X. That's, uh, that's six X. So it turns out that he's, in fact, won a contest instead. As a host of kidnapping, he's, in fact, a VIP for, um, 6X adult videos. He doesn't ever remember entering a contest, but he seems to have won it either way. He has a lot of questions, but he's not got any answers. They're still only responding in dots. Out of nowhere, a wild woman appears. Yes, he just got approached by Hillary Clinton. It's not every day you get approached by Hillary Clinton. Especially since you're involved in a prize and uh, in a contest about adult videos. 
I guess it runs in the family. Anything has to go and bring up history. Well, she's a politician. She should know. But history is not what she's in the mood for right now. But he keeps on talking about it. Why does it keep doing that? It's so irritating where it like pans out and just pans back in. Conversations go on forever. We really do. I'm not a fan, would not be a fan on Facebook. Here we go. What is this? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I know it was just Halloween game, but is it really necessary to scare the shit out of me like that? They're in a spirit dimension. Hillary Clinton just used her magical powers to pull them into a spirit dimension. And they turn invisible. Who knows what they'll do. Oh shit, decision point. Honestly, this music's scaring the shit out of me, so I'm just going to roll arbitrarily and see what happens. Just get out of this as fast as possible. One. Um. They go on a magical adventure. Thank God. And she, see, she even mentions background music, just how creepy that shit was. That was... That scared the hell out of me, I have to say. Mansion returns to work and is immediately assailed by the um, by the director. It's a bad situation, I have to say.
Now, the Richter and his cronies are uh, talking about the fate of Hero. Right in front of him, like an asshole. this guy. I don't think we've met this character before. Why is the music lagging out so badly? These guys are really wasted. He's just talking the hero's ear off. Yeah, he's just... He's just blabbering on. He's kind of incoherent. You don't really know what he's saying, but... He sure as hell is gonna talk about it until you, like, attack him. Which gives you an idea. And he just keeps on yakking. On and on and on and on and on. Every other fucking character in this game... decision point here. One, you hit the guy to try to get him to shut up. Two, you, uh, you try to give him a lot of, um, not-so-subtle hints that he should shut up. Number three, you just outright walk out on him. You just leave the bar. And number four, you endure it. Number three, you just, you walk the fuck out. You leave the bar. But he stops you. He won't, he won't let you leave. He holds you there, and he keeps talking to you. You think this might be a boss encounter. But, um, now it looks like, it looks like you've made it out. Turns out I was actually a director in disguise. The glasses were really different. Well, this is... It's just like a board of directors. This could be bad. This is the boss battle, kids. Maybe. Yeah, now he's talking about how horrible you are. How your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Another director, um, another one of the directors steps up to give his piece. Hey, if I don't ask, it's a big company. Now they're, they're getting, they're getting into it with each other. They're arguing. They're not happy. It's just, it's, it's gone back and forth. The other guy just gives up. He knows the lost cause in the season one. The director walks away feeling better about himself. And then the director's crony walks up, and he's hella pissed off. But not about what you thought he was. He's actually for Hero. He's an ardent Hero supporter. And the other guy pipes up again. Oh, now they're... They're going at it with each other now. Oh, shit. And the other guy jumps in. He's going at it. And then the narrator goes at it. <laughs> the bald guy's, the bald guy's going crazy. He's jumping around. He's screaming. Another guy starts shouting at the director. Every, everybody here loves hero protagonists. He's a great guy. The director just walks out. He's had enough of this. He's he's gone. He's done with it. And then they reuse the background again. They're really sloppy about that, I have to say. Oh. 
Oh, what? What is with that man's face? The man with the widest eyes in the world appears to be on the phone with you. Is that their idea of an American? Really? I think that might be their idea of an American. God damn it. Why is there no music? It's really eerie. And the hero actually doesn't look pissed off for once. But don't worry, he, 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 he has anger management issues. It's gonna be coming back soon. See, was I right or was I right? As soon as I say it. I was in the bar with, um, with the American guy. And why is this so quiet? Seriously, it's starting to creep me out a bit. American guy is just, he's staring at him, man. He's going Ouija about this. There's the music. God, that was... That was getting a little too creepy for me, I have to say. God, I'm looking forward to playing the next game. This is it's starting to get old. If anyone, if anyone actually understands what the fuck's going on, like, not interpretation, but someone actually knows Japanese and can explain what's going on, please explain this to me, I'm kind of curious. stopping point. Well, everybody, um, thanks for watching. This is, I think, episode 6 of Let's Play Kachaoshima Kasaku, and this has been Hydroponic Caravan. Signing off. Maybe. Yes, signing off. Thank you and good night. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hydroponic Caravan, I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Kachaoshima Kasaku, the show where everything's made up and the gameplay doesn't matter. Let's get back to it. So it looks like we, um, it looks like we completed a level there. Or stage or something. I'm giving us a quick plot summary of everything that may or may not have happened. <coughs> We have kicking tunes. That's all I need in the Let's Play. Why is it a black screen? It's a little old for loading times. Was that the entire game? I really just end that episode right before the credits. For realsies? Did I really just end the episode before the credits sequence? Well, I'm assuming these are the credits. If so, I'd like to thank everyone who's watched so far for watching. I'm not sure I don't think I'm going to make this a standalone episode if this is actually the credit sequence. Some sort of plot summary. Um, I don't think I'll make it a standalone episode. I'll probably just tag it on to the other one. There's hero protagonist. Falling or some blossoms, even. It's a peaceful scene. Is this really it? Well, 
I guess that was the game. So yeah, everybody. Thanks for watching this Let's Play and sticking through it with me. Um, it's not that long, I don't think. I think it only ended up being five or six episodes. There we go. Now it's panning out. Decent game. I'm assuming. I have no fucking idea. It's not like I was actually, um, I don't know what was going on with the plot line there. I don't know. Well, thank you. I'm going to assume that in that little story wrap up, he finally he ended up marrying Mill, his job at the company, you know. He got his. He didn't lose his job, um, his director got owned. Pedo NASA succeeded in its space launch, it was amazing. Um, the USSR was very happy with them. And yeah, that's what happened. Music Man, you are awesome. Mashido Miyamoto, you are a god amongst men. Um, wasn't a huge development team. This is a pretty, pretty small. Are, are they just going to display them all in Japanese characters now? Or? Well, I'm assuming that means the end. Previously, I haven't really been an issue. How long has this been going on? Eh, yeah, it's about five minutes. I might have to make this a standalone episode. Does this just keep going on? Let's do some fast forward here. Yes, it's never it. It's basically this is just this is the end right here. So yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. I am so fucking glad this game is over with. Um, so yeah, so thank you all for watching. Um, hope you all hope I, I hope to have my next LP started pretty soon. I'm going to be testing that out in the near future. Hopefully it'll work for me. So yeah. For the last time, this has been Hydroponic Caravan, signing out. Good night.